So in this video tutorial, we're going to talk about um, how to extract 3D um, vector information um, from 3D objects within Rhino that we can use for laser engraving processes. It's often nice to be able to take the uh, geometric description of an object that you've created uh, in a 3D program and translate that into an engraving that you can um, use for your laser cutter. Okay, first thing that you want to do is that you want to uh, create a um, new project. Okay, and uh, we want to create a new project. We're going to call it um, uh, Maya underscore laser. Okay, and you can designate a folder uh, that you um, want to put that in. I'm going to put it into this folder. I'm going to select. And I'm going to um, just keep with the defaults and I'll accept that. Okay. The next thing that I want to do under my settings is that I want to go into my um, render settings over here in Maya. Okay. And what I want to do, I want to change the renderer from the Maya software renderer to the Maya vector renderer. And I also want to change the image format from IFF to .ai. Okay. And we do that all underneath the, um, the common tab. The common tab. Okay. And we can also come in here if we want to and choose um, one of the, the presets. And we can do a 1280, which is a nice preset to use and we can maintain the aspect ratio, but that's not so important. Now, let's go into our Maya vector renderer, okay? And what we want to do is that we want to make sure that we have our fill objects uh, turned on. And we don't want to show the back faces and we'll see um, how that changes. The also thing that we want to do is that we want to include our edges. Okay, and we also, we can provide like an edge weight, which is a sort of a stroke weight, but I like to go with um, hairline because I can always apply that later. And then we come from the, get the edge color, which in this case is, um, is uh, black, but we can change the edge color if we wanted to. And we can also uh, look for, um, for, uh, have a, to show or not to show hidden edges. Under your edge detail, this is kind of important. We're going to see how this affects our rendering, but let's just do a, a quick rendering for right now and see what we to see what we get. And we get an object that looks like that. And notice that we don't have a lot of the internal detail on the model. Okay. Now that's where um, your edge detail comes in. Let's reduce that to about 30. And we're going to do a, another rendering once we reduce that to 30. And you notice that you begin to get more of the line. So what you have to do, you have to play around with that edge detail. And I'm going to reduce it to 6 in this case. I'm going to render again. And you'll notice that you're starting to get some of your geometry. But in here, you're also beginning to get some of the uh, triangulated elements in there also and you might not want that so you'll have to tweak that um, to to get it just uh, to where you uh, want it and work with that okay and one of the things that you can do with your model to uh, improve the the quadrilateralization of your model as I would say is to go up into your normals and harden your edges and that really brings out the lines and once you do that you notice that I can back that up the minimum edge angle all the way up to 30 and when I do that I get my quads I get my quads uh, now the good thing about this is having it set up in this way in Maya if we look under the common tab that it saves it uh, to this folder so I'm going to pause this for a second and we're going to stop right here because we've done what we can in Maya. And we're going to do part two in Illustrator. Have a good day.